Sai. So Go Jin Wei of Malaysia getting this quarterfinal underway against the former world champion. Fusala Venkata, uh, one a badminton player who's made the Forbes top 10 list on female athletes oh. earning capacity in home country. In fact, the first time that she appeared on the Forbes Three. Um, one or earned in a year, which was more than Simona Halep, who at the time was the world number one women's singles tennis player. Yeah, lovely, lovely rally. Million from oh, endorsements and spo sponsorship. Only half a million in uh, prize money. Simona Hallett was the other way around, as was from prize money. And yeah, I think that's a great point, and that shows how um, popular Sindhu is as a, you know, as an athlete, especially things for badminton in India, One, and four. and as a female athlete in India as well. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Go two four. We saw that shot used quite often in the team event. Phenomenally, that slice. Yeah, good aggression. Five, two. Yeah, good return of serve. For the word, she holds the uh, racket right at the end of the handle. And uh, that perhaps gives her the yeet. And she's got an easy, relaxed hitting motion. Go Jin Wei. Yeah, she's very, very relaxed. And it could be, you know, from when she was young, she found it most comfortable to hold the racket that low. It could be to even extend the reach because she's not the tallest of, of athletes. That's a good punch clear. It's going wide. Yeah. And so, neutralize so the six, attacking four. capabilities of PV Sindhu. It is a tough challenge. Six. The skill for this it is a short lift, so it makes the shot control in her hand to play that shot. Just wide, he'll go Jim Way has had. Back in 2019, she had surgery. Oh, it's called good. There's a challenge. Did in fact land in. a good shot into the deep back end. Go Jim Way, it's fast. <laughs> yeah, she Eight, knew the lift was short. Where, look where Sindhu's feet are as she played that final shot. She took well to even reach it, yeah. <laughs> Just do think it's, it's going to be a big challenge for the whole of the game to keep the pace that Sindhu can, can move at. Oh, that's nice. Eight. And wonderful skills, and she can explore corners of the court. It was a bit like then, she, she heard me, and she was like, uh, actually, yes, I can. <laughs> this is a good rally. Using her height so well. Beautiful. Service over. Ten eight.
Yeah. So nice that, that's Nine. psychological Ten. games. A slice, deceptive shot across court against me. I'll do one to you. Retrieving capabilities. Ten, I retrieve all these shots because I feel like she's almost having to take twice as many steps. Just because she, you know, she's not as tall as Cinder, she can't cover the court quite as easily. Oh, that's brilliant! The shuttle ten, in her deep forehand corner. Twelve. And she was able to do that because the clear from Gojin Wei flatter clear because then Sindhu, using her height, could intercept it. That's nice. So the And go, Jim Wei was alert 14. to him. Look at this. Wonderful reaction. Only possible because she stayed so calm. I mean, she looked, you know, so relaxed even in that situation. So she could react that fast. Good punch clear. That's going wide. Well, there was the punch clear, so she can hit an attacking clear, clear if she's going to play it. Was expecting the lift. 14, 15. Sindhu gets the net cord. Ojin Wei not only gets it back, but gets it back with interest. Phenomenal shot. The control that Gojin Wei has there is. Missed it. And the Fifteen all. <laughs> Missed it. Fifteen. Six of the last seven points to go Jin Wei. She was right to challenge. That well, landed points. Yeah. 
Over. And a little rebound action 16, of the racket. 18. No real follow through. Good net shot. Adrian Way's touch at the net at the moment so is over. incredible. 19 16. No question that one was short. So Singles game. Beautiful. PB Sindhu. Quite astonishing. Both rallies. She's gone for acute angles and she's made it. Opportunity 20 is for the Malaysian Gojin Wei. Short. What a good opening game. And that all stemmed again from that incredible net play from Go Jin Wei. Here we go, second game. medaled at the last two games in the women's singles discipline. She's expected uh, to win the gold this time. If you go on rankings alone, overwhelming favourite. Ah, that's a nice shot. This level of wow. going away because uh, she did retire, as I was uh, telling you, uh, just under a retirement at the age of 21 and has only been playing again. Uh, for a very short period of time. So she hasn't had many matches at this sort of intensity since her return to the game. Big ass physically of Gojin Wei. Yeah, wonderful. Who could forget that Three, with the singles yeah. final One. involving PV Sindhu when she lost to Nozomi Okuhara? Two, three. Oh. Yeah. Four, no real two. reaction to that, but I'm sure he's happy with that shot from... Aggression and Five, attack at the moment two. from Sindhu. Just 
just wide. Oh, it's called good. No, clearly wide. Correction. Nice. Taking it early at the front of the courts. That's sick net shot there from Goji Way, which we hadn't seen before. Her touch have been so incredible so far. Follows up Seven, well. Five. Oh, that is... uh, six, seven. It's going wide. So nicely, the technique used is pretty much perfect. Push wide, that's no. Good punch clear. The speed of Gojin Way is just extraordinary. This rally still in progress. Magnificent. That hurt Gojin Way. Look at that. I didn't think she was going to get that back. Sindhu. And she played the perfect seven, seven. shot. Nine, seven. Extraordinary. All right, on to the back line. Sullivan Carter Sindhu here in the second game that it was the Malaysian who won the first now, nice. a break is not coming at the right time for Sindhu she was on a bit of a roll and she really would have you know after the the break she's won the first rally 
I do feel after that long, long rally they had where Sindhu won it. I know the point after she made a simple mistake, but I do feel since that, like, early in this game, longest rally of the match so far. Oh, she's off balance. It's to me as if she hurt herself as well. Go, Jim White. Let's have a little look at this. Uh, I think she just stumbled. Yeah, it was just a stumble. Quickly. to the back then bringing her forward now she'll push her to the back again but she's missed it the amount of uh, times in that then bringing her forward pushing her to the back again then bringing her forward really making gojin work way work and work and that final shot it's quite a big space it doesn't have to be as tight as that it could just be a good shot and then I'm not even sure if gojin way would be able to even get that one back and if she did it would not be a good shot from that position Gojin Wei is struggling physically. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Just shy of 45 minutes. This has been in progress. We haven't even completed a second game. Another long rally. I don't know how she plays those net shots from Saylote. Oh, yeah, she's running out of steam. Go to him, way. Here it comes, yeah. That's desperation. That's tiredness. You almost start to think, what does she prioritise? Players on court. Can she still win this game? Maybe she can, and she's going to have to give everything, though. Absolutely everything. Or does she think this is now? But it's going to be interesting what she decides to do. Yeah, this is sensible from Simba. 
keeping Gojin point opportunities for PV Sindhu to level this quarter final at one game apiece. Yeah, she never got behind that Gojin way. It's one game all. 21 4. Start of the first of this third game. Good game, and I think that was the breaks between rallies, and also we had some epic rallies in that second game. Yeah, I think breaks in between rallies, I think the umpire needs to keep an eye on that. Play is supposed to be continuous in the sport of badminton. Oh. Yep. This is where Gojin Wei's control is so good. Because if she hits that soft dust, and she's literally put it just inside the line. There's good intensity to this rally. Yeah. Really clinging on here. I mean, her, she's shown that she can win points from nothing with her, you know, incredible skill level. But I just feel it's, it's such. I mean, look at that. She's that's keeping her in this, in this final game. Oh. Just wide, oh. and in the end. Four. She watches it, watches it. Yeah, just wide. That's wonderful play. She was the one that was uh, pushing and making Sindhu move from side to side and twist and turn. Some of it goes. Oh, yes, that's a lovely shot. Fantastic shot here. Off balance. Played to perfection. everyone um it was short fantastic placement i think you're right i think that's the first time we've seen that the big smash at the prize by that That's a very good point. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. Be careful that she doesn't allow Sindhu to come forward to the net because Sindhu Nice angle. And again. Short. Extraordinary rally. 
it's gone long. long. Challenge unsuccessful. Brilliant, clear. Brilliant. After the rally. So the seven. Seven. It's wide. Level. Tick over the hour mark. One game all than eight or nothing between them. That's a nice drop. That's well wide, my goodness me. Oof. That's not even close in badminton terms. Whereas, you know, in the team competition, she was the only match that India won in the final against Malaysia. Yeah, I'd definitely say in this competition, you know, Cindy knows she's the big favorite. She knows Isola. the level she can Isola. play at, but Gojin Wei, she's that, dangerous. And it's interesting how it's all changed. Well, that Nine, ten. It's 10 all. Turning into an absolute classic of a match. Short. Hides again, Gojin Wei. Well, as we watch that rally again, yeah, look how short that is. That's barely on the front service line. Gojin Wei bent double. Tight spinning net shot, taking it early. Sindhu and Gojin Wei knowing that she really had no hope. One point in it as play resumes in this third and deciding game. Yeah. Who absolutely determined to keep moving her Go. opponent. And again. Late on to that, yeah. When she was late on to the next of position. Here she is, she's late on to that. Has to bring the left leg forward to push back. Look, she's nowhere near the base position in the center of the court as she's receiving that smash. You've got your back to the net, you can't see where your opponent is, and you can't see where the court is. All well, has to be done on spatial awareness. Oh, that was going wide! Incredible defence. Missed it. The momentum of the rally, because Sindhu, in all honesty, 
should have won that rally early. It makes it very exciting to watch. Good punch clear. There's the backhand again in trouble. Again. Here it comes. She can't see where her 16, opponent is. 12. And signal the end of the run. Oh, that's gone wide. That could be costly. Oh, I have to hand it to Sindhu, you know, because I thought the psychology of her losing that previous rally. When you don't go winning five world championship medals and two Olympic medals unless you are mentally tough. Yeah, that's nice. Go. Serve the server. She had the options. How many times has she played the acute angle across so court? Bo Jin Wei was probably waiting for that. So Sindhu hit straight 13. down the line. No skill, so she still has a chance to turn it around. at her and then going for something almost too perfect she doesn't need to do that in my opinion making go Jin Wei move the full diagonal of the court that's the longest distance to run and again Actually, you go to my left leg. Six. Yeah, that's a good angle from Gojim. Seven points, but it's still match point for Sindhu. the final rally.